Hello, a great welcome to Idea Statica tutorial. Myself is Jaraj and P. This is tutorial number 19. Here I will demonstrate the modeling and analysis of a stiffened circular base plate supporting a CHS section. The CHS member is subjected to axial loads, shear, and bending moment. The geometry of the base plate used is shown here. The various components, namely base plate, anchor bolts and concrete are verified as per Indian standard IS 800. So let us start idea static art tutorial number 19. Please note that the links for uh, the other tutorials are provided under the video description. So the model created for uh, this tutorial is shown here. As it, you can see, it essentially consists of uh, a vertical member that, which is a CHS section. And the other components such as uh, the base plate, foundation block and the ribs are generated through the manufacturing operations. So let me quickly take you through the various commands and the manufacturing operations. So now coming to member, vertical member M1, you can see that it is uh, a section B267 12.5, just edit it. You can see that uh, it has got an external diameter of 267mm and a thickness of 13mm. And the steel material used is E250 FE410 WA, indicating that it has got a yield distance of 250 Nm square and an ultimate tensile strength of 410 MPA. So, as is the vertical member, the angle gamma is a kept to 90 degrees, and uh, we have used a NVM model for uh, the simulation of the boundary. And then uh, let us go to the various manufacturing operations. So, first of all, the base plate is generated through the manufacturing operation base plate. So you can quickly go to the add manufacturing operation and this is your base plate and uh, you can start editing the various parameters and here uh, we will use this manufacturing operations to define the base plate as well as uh, the foundation block and the wells and the anchor bolts uh, will be developed uh, using the other manufacturing operation. So uh, considering the base plate, the main member it is connected to is M1. And the base plate material is also the same as the M1 member that's with the FI equal 250 MPA. Thickness of the base plate is 20 mm and it is a circular base plate. And the radius of the base plate is 250 mm with the inner radius being zero. So accordingly, you can say that the base plate covers the entire cross section of the vertical member. So then we have the wells so considering the wells as for, for the flange we need not to mention any well size now coming to the web we can mention a, a fillet wells size on one side of a 12 mm and this is what is being shown over here and then we have got a foundation block the concrete of grade m30 with an offset of say here 200 mm and the depth of the foundation block is kept as 600 mm. It is assumed that the shear force will be transferred through the friction mechanism and the standoff will be direct. Now, let us go to the other manufacturing operation that is known as the ribs. So, here, if, for example, if you go to the manufacturing operation, you can see the corresponding. So, this is the rib manufacturing operation which can be utilized for the generation of the ribs that is provided all around the CHS. So let us quickly start entering the various parameters. So these ribs are provided on member M1 and is related to the base plate BP1 and the ribs are having the same FI of 250 MPA. The thickness of the rib here is entered as 8 mm and the width of the rib is 100 mm and its depth is kept as 250 mm. So you can see that is 100 mm and 250 mm shown here. So let me just zoom it a little bit. Yes, so this the depth is 250 mm and you can say that the width of the rib is 100 mm and the shape of the rib will be accepted as a triangular and uh, the radial position being zero and uh, will be providing uh, a total of uh, eight numbers of ribs through an, a total angular uh, value of 360 and coming to the wells uh, we have used a 6 mm uh, fillet weld to connect as the ribs to the main member m1 also to the base plate bp1 
So that is all uh, the manufacturing operation re required for the base plate as well as the ribs. Now let us go for uh, the next manufacturing operation which is uh, known as uh, the grid of boards. And here, uh, so let me just take you towards the grid of boards. So the corresponding manufacturing operation is uh, here. You can see that's known as the bolt grid, this one. So here we'll uh, make use of this uh, manufacturing operation for the generation of uh, the anchor bolts. So we'll write on fastener. It is important that we mention it as anchors. So here there are many options like the bolts, contact and anchors. Here we'll choose, we have to choose it as the anchors. And the one which we want to connect is nothing but the base plate PP1. And the type we are using the M24 4.6 grade me indicating that it has got a tensile strength of 400 MPa with the NFI of say 240 MPa. And the anchoring length of the bolt is kept as 300 mm. And the anchor type, the anchor is provided with a circular washer plate as shown here. So you can see that this is a circular washer plate and the size or the diameter of the circular washer plate is kept as 75 mm. And uh, for the generation of the boards, we'll use obviously for our convenience a power coil system with the origin at zero. And the radius of the anchor boards is kept at 200 mm. And this mentions uh, the angular uh, position of the various boards. So uh, I want that the first anchor to be placed at 22.5 and the various uh, anchors to be at uh, an angular distance of say 45 degrees. So that's why 45 into say 7. Now that's all about uh, the generation of uh, the anchor boards. Now it's a straight we can go for uh, the load effects and uh, as you can see that here I have provided only one load case. Uh, wherein uh, this member is vertical member uh, M1 is subjected to a normal force compression of 300 kN associated with uh, a shear of uh, 80 kN and a moment of uh, MY 100 kN. So let us uh, start uh, running the model. So we'll start calculating the model. So as we can see the Analysis is done for 100% of the loads, and we can see that all the components are uh, satisfying our uh, various checks. The plates are uh, having a maximum strain of 0.2%, which is less than 5%. And uh, we have uh, the anchors not calculated. So it is uh, uh, observed here that idea statica do not perform a full detailed check of the anchors in this case. Anyway, it will provide us the maximum tension forces uh, that is uh, developed in the anchor bolts. So the wells it has gone up to 98.1 percentage and the concrete block is a safe that is a 40.9 percentage. So let us quickly go through the various uh, results. So we can see that um, the 100 percent of the loads are applied on the model and the locker deformation. Let us avoid this one because it is not relevant for us. So now coming to the plates. Here what we find is that the plates are having a maximum strain of 0.2% So let us quickly find out which of the plate component is very critical for us. So here, so let us just uh, rearrange this. So 0.2% So if this 0.2% we find that it is coming on the rib only. So let us quickly obtain the part of the plastic strain. So let us just mesh it. So let us quickly just see the model. So as we can see that, yes, so this is a, this is a location where we can see that it's a 0.2 percentage, okay, 0.2 percentage is location where uh, the strain is of the order of 0.2 percentage. This is the location under coming under uh, the ribs, okay, so as it is shown here, and we can also see it over here itself. So we can see that this is our rib and this is a strain distribution and we find that uh, the maximum strain of 0.2 percentage develops are there. At the location of the rib where it meets the base plate. Okay, so that's all regarding and at other locations we find that the strain is uh, very much below that is of the order of uh, very much below than 0.2 percentage. Now coming to the wells, so here we find that uh, the wells uh, it is taken up to 98.1 percentage. 
So let us see which of the belt is very critical for us. So here we can go over here and uh, the utility we just try to sort it out. Here we find this 90.1 percentage is again the BP1 and RB1. Okay, so BP1 where it is connected, okay, at the RB1 location. So means that uh, this is the belt that is critical as is clearly identified over here. So you can see that this is the weld, okay, the weld that is, uh, connects the rib to the base plate is getting critical as is shown here the BB1, rib 1 and we find the 19.1 and in the other cases let us quickly see what are the other values and the other rib also we are finding some say is 98 again so for this rib, okay, so the next rib, so means that uh, as far as the welds are concerned, the connection uh, between the rib and uh, the base plate is critical and uh, we have taken uh, the wells to the tune of 98.1 percentage. If we want to uh, limit the stresses to a smaller values, we can increase the weld from say for example from 4 mm to 6 mm and uh, then going to the anchor, yes here is a point where idea static did not perform uh, the detailed check. If you have uh, done a similar problem with the uh, Euro code or American code, it would have provided a detailed check of the anchors based on the concrete strength, based on the strength of the anchors, uh, based on also the shear uh, tension interaction. But here it did not perform uh, any such detailed checks, uh, maybe because that uh, it has used the IS 800. So, in IS 800 right now, it is it did not provide any kind of a detailed checking. But anyway, it is possible for us uh, from here to obtain uh, under the given uh, loading condition for the maximum tensions developed in the anchor bolts. So, let us quickly just uh, sort it out. So for example, here we find that for A3 and A2, we have got a maximum tension of 61.1. Okay, this is 61.1. So, as expected, load is applied in this direction so we expect that these two bolts should be extremely loaded and 61.1 and uh, we find that uh, regarding the others yes 44.7 here and other bolts these uh, these four bolts are subjected to zero that means our neutral axis should be somewhere here and now you know to have a acute check from the structural capacity of the bolts we can also use the standard expressions available in IS 800 which provide us the structural capacity of the anchors based on the failure in yielding or the failure in uh, rupture and based on that I have quickly worked out and the capacity works out to be around say 100 kN and here the actual values uh, are 61.1 actual tensions so these are uh, much less than uh, the allowable value or the desired strength value of 100 kN so we can say that uh, the idea static did not provide a detailed check from the structural capacity point of view that is structural I mean from the capacity calculation of the anchor bolts alone and here I want to add one more thing the capacity of the anchor bolts are also to be investigated from the consideration of uh, the con resistance of uh, the connected concrete and whichever is the minimum should be taken as the final resistance of uh, or the capacity of the anchors and here uh, as uh, we have assumed that the entire uh, shear will be transferred through the friction you will find that uh, the shear force in each bolt is equal to zero and then what are the other parameters yes here we have got the concrete block and before going to the concrete block let us quickly see what about the stress distribution in the concrete I mean uh, the bearing stress distribution so yes so as expected we find that uh, we have got uh, a large distribution of uh, the bearing stresses as okay on the compression side only on this side so here we find that uh, the peak local stress it has gone up to say 12.6 MPA. So, but the IS code it calculates uh, what we call as the entire compression to be distributed over uh, over an effective width of C, and according to which we find that uh, the uniform stress, the mean stress, could be taken as the calculated stress can be obtained as 7.4, and these are only the local value 12.6, and the mean stress is 7.4. And uh, this is much less than uh, the permissive bearing stress in concrete for M30 grade concrete of 18. So, providing us uh, a utility ratio uh, for bearing in uh, concrete to the tune of 40.9. So, that's uh, all regarding uh, the checks for the various components. 
So let me quickly uh, take you through the report generated by Idea Statica for this problem uh, so that you will see what are the text that is provided in the report. And here also it is important that you know that we quickly verify all the calculations the uh, by the hand calculation because the software calculations cannot be taken just granted because we may commit some mistakes in the input parameters to so ensure that all the calculations are perfectly in line with our expectations. So let me quickly go through. So we have got the steel material that is E250, FA410 and the concrete of M30. And uh, you can say that uh, okay, the calculations uh, <coughs> for M1 is a CH section. And the design code, as we have discussed, it is IS, that is Indian standard code. Okay, And uh, here we can say the various checks that is being uh, done. For example, here uh, you can find that uh, the plates, it's a uh, 0.2 percentage, that's less than 5 percentage. And uh, regarding the plates from this uh, table also, it is very easy for us to see, okay, which are the critical uh, stresses and the corresponding uh, the strains. So here we can find that the strain is of 0.2 percentage. It has uh, uh, developed directly on one of the ribs. Okay, it is very clear from this table. Okay, now coming to the bottom, here is the local deformation that we can avoid. And look here, this is the overall check and this is the strain check. And here, as we have already discussed, we find that the strain is getting critical somewhere in the corners of these ribs and has reached up to a level of say 0.2 percentage as shown here. And uh, this is uh, the distribution of uh, equivalent stress developed to the applied loading. And we find that the peak stress developed uh, in the uh, main member M1 and also in the ribs is on the tune of 225 per square, that is acceptable. And here, as you can see, that uh, regarding the anchors, it has provided the maximum 61.1, but there are no uh, special detailed check that is very clearly written over here. You can see that anchor checks have not been performed. Okay. Anyway, I will write to with uh, uh, to Idea Statica what could be the possible reason uh, that uh, anchor checks have not been provided in, in the Idea Statica. Uh, while uh, IS800 was used as a design code, okay, and uh, this is uh, regarding uh, all the, the stress distribution in the wells, okay. So, and here we you can see that uh, how the equivalent stresses, the one mice equivalent stress have been obtained for the belt, and it is uh, compared with the critical anaerobic st stress, and you we find that it is uh, uh, stressed to, to the tune of uh, 98 percentage. And this is a quick check for the common block in terms of the bearing stress in concrete. And uh, here also it provides you all those checks. And uh, that's all for uh, the verification of the various components. So please do subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notified as and when the tutorials are uploaded in the uh, future. So that's all. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.